beautiful day, beautiful sunshine. I like the sunshine. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Welcome to today's video. Today's video we're going to be talking about why did I shave my hairs in September 2020. September 2020, I was doing the rituals on my hairs. Then I found out back of my hair on my crown here, my hair started growing way thinner. So I went to India to find out that it was like my DHT. What is DHT? Dihydrotestosterone. Powerful male hormone that we produce when you're like a 15, 16, 17, 18. You know, it gives us, you know, the Adam apples. It makes our voice we do way more deeper compared to that of the females. What happens when you have too much of DHT into our body? They're gonna go and bind your hair follicles. When they bind your hair follicles, they're gonna be in there, prevent your hair follicles from absorbing you know, the right nutrients that they need in the first place to grow bigger, longer, and fuller hairs on our head, right? That's when you know, your hair start going way thinner. If you do no action about it, your hair start going short. You take no action again, you know, your hair start disappearing on your head. Yeah, the hair start disappearing on your head. Ooh, hold on a bit. Why is my hair disappearing? This got to be my own experience dealing with ADHD. In December 2020, I found out back of my hairs on my crown, my hair start growing way thinner. I wasn't happy about it, so I went to, you know, shaving my hairs. In April again, you know, my hair start growing a little bit. But then I thought myself, you know, I'm going to have to just, you know, to be adding some few more treatment again. In May 2021, my hair grows. August 2021, what's my hair right there? Baby, my hair is growing way fine. January 2022, this is how my hair looks like. So what do we have to do, you know, to stop the DHD from binding from our hair follicles? It's a lot of broccoli, right? Y'all gonna know what it is. This is, you know, high in protein and... Eggs are really, really, really good source of good protein, right? It's good like for your hair fibers. Bananas. Mangoes are good, you know, for hair to grow, right? That's gonna be carrots. We got avocados. Packed with a lot of vitamins. That's gonna help you, you know, reduce your DHT level into your body, right? DHT killer, tomatoes. Eat a lot of tomatoes. You can make salad of them, right? I miss, you know, my avocados. Uh, plus the tomatoes, mix it with my salad, you know. I'm always adding this one into my salad. What's the atmosphere I'll get the backside? Y'all gotta tell me, I'm gonna be watermelons. Besides reducing the dish into your body, this is good for hair growth. At the same time, it's good for muscle building. All these little you know, food are gonna be able to help y'all guys you know, reduce your DHT level into your body. So when your DHT level is reduced into your body, you're gonna go and they're gonna be able to start to unbind it from your hair follicles. So when they unbind from your hair follicles, all the vitamins are gonna be able you know, to be penetrated into your hair follicles. That's when you start growing hairs. People always making a mistake when they say, you know, vitamins, who? Supplement store. Y'all guys gonna be good to the pharmacy if you buy these vitamins. Y'all guys gonna be getting five gram of you know zinc. So I'm gonna be asking y'all guys this question: How sure are you that all these claims are true? Get your vitamins way natural. Go eat natural food. If y'all guys like the video, always click on the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned. Close up, close up, close up, yeah, get close. Close up, close up, close up, yeah, get close.